being a second generation American. And we've talked a lot about immigration in this class this semester. Um, I know that Amanda and I are both second generation Americans. A quick definition, uh, first generation American is somebody who comes to the United States, who emigrates here. Second generation is their children who are born here. Uh, I was born here, my parents and my siblings came over from Cuba. There is an interesting phenomenon that we see in this country. Second generation Americans, it's long been assumed, were simply assimilated into the norm and just became part of American culture. But what we're seeing, especially in the last two decades, is growing evidence that we not only are changed by American culture, but we actually change the face of American culture. This handsome couple was my parents in uh, 1959. This was immediately after the uh, Cuban Revolution. People come to this country for a lot of different reasons. Uh, for many years, it was mostly economic reasons. They came over because of opportunity. Uh, mostly in this last hundred years, more and more people have become Americans leaving their country because of uh, religious and political oppression, warfare, uh, and fleeing hardship, not necessarily to seek opportunity. But the biggest reason is to make a better life for their children. So what we see here is a major shift in the countries that people are coming from. Now, before 1900, almost everyone who came to this country was from Western Europe. People who shared at least physical characteristics with most of the people that were already here. There wasn't a major shift. But what you see, especially in the last 50 years, is that the majority of people are coming from Central and South America and Central and East Asia. People who not only have a very different language, but who look different. And where the first generation Americans may try to assimilate, may try to pretend like they're just the norm and fly under the radar, what you'll see is that second generation Americans want to bring that culture into America. For example, when I was growing up, nobody knew what Cuban food was. The only people that they knew of who were Cuban were Desi Arnaz and Scarface. Not a great cultural heritage. <laughs> so it was because of people like me that many of my friends learned about Cuban music, learned about Celia Cruz, learned about cumbia. Uh, they learned about plantains. Most of them had never even seen a plantain before, much less eaten one. It is people like me, second generation Americans, who are bringing our culture into the norm, bringing our culture into American culture. Something that's very interesting, the Pew Research Center has done an extensive study on American immigrants. And what you will find is that first generation immigrants tend to have a very hard time. Um, because of language barriers, because of cultural barriers, they tend to earn less money. They tend to have lower rates of home ownership. Uh, they tend not to go to college. But their children, my generation, has almost a completely equitable uh, median household income, has uh, an almost equitable rate of home ownership. But this is something that's very interesting. If you look at college graduation rates, we have a significantly higher graduation rate than people who have been in this country for several generations. Now we see this because our parents do want that better life for us. They do push us. Uh, we will oftentimes be the first of our family to graduate from college. And that's very, very important to our parents and then to us. We take that, <coughs> we bring that into American culture. And as you'll see, the more second generation Americans you'll meet, the more you'll find that we do affect the face of American culture as much as it affects us. Thank you very much. <laughs>